Hi guys, welcome to the Rebel Rookies Backyard Edition. I'm Lee Broxham from Melbourne Victory. I've designed a, a bunch of exercises that you can do at home to stay active and, and to keep fit. Um, so something you can join along at home with me. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna run you through all the equipment that you need for today's Rebel Rookies backyard workout. Um, but don't worry, we've got plenty of alternatives um, if you don't have anything at home. Okay, first up, you need a water bottle to keep you hydrated. The next thing you need um, are some Rebel cones, um, or if you don't have them, just anything you've got at home that can mark out some spaces in your backyard. And lastly, uh, a soccer ball, a football, or any other sort of ball that you've got around the house that you can use. First exercise is dribbling. Uh, it's a great foundation skill of soccer. It'll really gets your heart rate up. Let's get into it. Okay guys, we're gonna get straight into the dribbling. Um, if you've got your ball at home, you're just gonna drop it and just really get a feel for the ball um, using the inside, outside of your feet. So you can just take it using both feet, stopping the ball, turning, using a small space like this. Okay, you can use the inside of your feet, keep it nice and controlled and turning. It's really good to get your control, get your legs warm, making sure you're using the inside of your feet. Now you're gonna do this one for 60 seconds, okay? You can keep dribbling, keep dribbling using the inside, outside of your feet. You've got another 25 seconds to go, okay? So I'm gonna do it with you, keep dribbling, keep moving the ball, you're doing a great job. You can use the outside of your feet as well, like so. And if you're good at that, you can go outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. If you can't, you can just keep using the inside of your feet or dribbling along, okay? And that's your dribbling. One minute, my heart rate's up for sure. Second exercise is jumping jacks, a favorite of mine. Uh, it's a great exercise to get your heart rate up. Um, so let's get into that. So just starting with your hands by your side, feet together, and just jumping out above your head for 60 seconds, okay? So you're gonna do as many of these as you can. If you can do 60 seconds, that's fantastic. Just making sure you're keeping in movement. This is really warming up your legs as well, okay? If you can't get to the 60 seconds, each time you can count how many you can get, okay? So if you are if you can only get 20 or 25, the next time you do them, try and get 30, 35. If you're gonna keep bouncing them out, it's good, you got 25 seconds to go. I stopped and had a break, because I was getting tired. Just an excuse, but it's good. Keep it going. Last 15 seconds, I'll do them with you. Keep them going strong, 10 seconds. 60 seconds of good workout. You should be nice and warm now. Three, two, one, and you're done. Good job. I'm breathing, so you should be very warm by now. Third exercise is shooting practice. Um, it's another great foundation skill that you need in soccer. Um, make sure we're all warmed up. Um, so let's get into that one. Okay guys, uh, I've set up my cones for shooting practice. Uh, we're gonna do this for one minute. Um, so you're just gonna put your ball down, maybe start with the small shots um, in between your cones. If you've got something where you've got behind it, a brick wall or anything um, to help you get the ball back for convenience. Uh, but yeah, if you've got, it, it can be like an adaptation of passing as well to warm your legs up, to get you swinging um, and get your technique going, okay? So for example, I've got my cones set up behind a wall, um, which is nice and easy. So you get the ball back, which is great. So you can stop it, run up, have your shot. If you've got a friend, a younger brother, a younger sister, chuck them in goal and if you don't have a wall, they can come and bring the ball back, okay? So you can keep shooting. Make sure you're practicing both feet, left and right. You can slowly move back as it gets, as you get warmer and warmer and more confident with your shooting. It's good making sure you're using both feet. You're halfway through now. Just keep it going. If you've got something right behind it, you can start shooting up high. My wall's a bit low, but it's good. Move further back and back as you get warmer. 
And this is the fun part of, of soccer, isn't it? Getting to shoot, score goals. That's why you play. Still making sure you're using both feet. Last few seconds. Three, two, one, and you're done. That's good, that's the fun part of soccer, so make sure you enjoy it. The fourth exercise is side shuffles. Uh, we'll do that for one minute. Uh, really works on your agility and your speed, um, which is really important in, in soccer. Okay, so we've got one minute of side shuffling. Um, my kids love this one, so I'm sure you will. Um, get your mum and dad involved, brothers, sisters, whoever. It's, it's a good bit of fun. So you're just down low, really bracing, and it's just to get your agility, get your speed, and making sure your legs are warm as well, okay? So you can set up your cones, like these two here, and you're just going side to side, making sure you're getting nice and low and shuffling. You start to feel your quads and your calves. It'll get nice, you'll get a nice burn. You can slowly get quicker and quicker as you get more comfortable, okay? So just keep working between the cones, making sure your feet aren't crossing over like this. It's just side shuffling, nice and low to the floor. And like I said, the more you get comfortable, you can go quicker and quicker. And if it's getting tough now, you can stop as well, maybe record, that was 40 seconds. Maybe that's enough, maybe you've hit 40 and you can't do any more and you can do more and more after that. Okay, so last 10 seconds, I'll do them with you. We'll try and go as quick as we can to finish them off. Get your mum and dad going, three, two, and remember to breathe. Good job. Okay, exercise number five um, is backpedaling. Um, it's important in soccer, sometimes you need it when defending um, or, or in lots of scenarios. Okay, so let's get into it. We're just gonna go between the cones, the same cones you use for your sidestepping. It's a great reference. Um, so you're just gonna get to each cone and then you'll turn around and go backwards again. And then also, as you're coming backwards, you're gonna turn, then we're gonna do a little bit of side backwards shuffling as well. Because often when you're defending your opponent, you might be coming and defending this way as opposed to just a backwards run like this. They might be used to get back or if you're defending a cross or something like that. Okay, so you got 40 seconds left. I'll start doing them with you. Some backwards running, really gets your hamstrings going and your calves. <clears throat> so you can do either or. If you feel you wanna be going backwards like this, that's good when defending an opponent. I think it's very handy to be doing it like that. You really feel your quads burn. You've got 20 seconds to go. Whichever one you want to work on today, you can go backwards. Or you can keep doing your backwards shuffling. 10 seconds left. Making sure you're finishing it off and go as quick as you want. Last few seconds. And you're done. Good job. The sixth exercise is squats. This is a good one for your power, power in your legs. Um, I do these all the time at home, so let's get stuck into these ones. Really important here to be sitting back onto your glutes as if you're sitting on a chair. Weight through your heels, like so, and show you on the side. So your knees aren't coming over your toes, and you're sitting back in a squat like that. So you can practice these as if you're sitting onto your own couch, or onto your dining chair table. Show from the front as well. Feet shoulder width apart. And now probably the first time you're doing them, you just really want to focus on the technique itself. Making sure you're not hunching your back over as you're squatting. Keeping your core on tight. And you might just want to do 10 to begin with, or whatever you can reach, and work your way up to maybe hitting 20 in a minute. And as you get more and more, or you're getting stronger and stronger. You can get as many as you want in, okay? I'll show you from the side too. They're great. <sighs> Did leg weights yesterday, so I'm a little bit sore, but that's okay. You keep just pushing them out, making sure your weight's into your glutes. You'll feel your quads in your glutes. Last few, last five seconds. If you're really pushing them, just keep going all the way through the minute, and that's you done. Good job. Seventh exercise is burpees. Um, they don't feel great when doing them and they're not my personal favourite, but um, they're great for you and a great little workout. So let's get stuck into those. I'll just run you through some of the technique stuff. So there's the burpee itself. Where you're jumping out, you're down. 
and jumping up, show you from the side, get down and jumping up. So you can try a few of those uh, to begin with. Try and do as many as you can in the minute if you've done them before. Um, there's other ways you can do it. You can just come down, you can just step them out. You don't even have to go down. You can just step out and stay here. Stepping back up, you don't even have to jump or you can jump it, okay? So if the first time you're doing them, you can just step it out with a little jump, okay? So making sure you're just getting the technique right as you start, and then maybe you wanna do five. Maybe you'll be after five, you'll be, that will be enough. You work your way to 10, and then try and really smash it out and hit uh, 20 or 30, or about 100 in a minute that I would normally do, okay? So you got 15 seconds to go, I'll do it with you. Oh, maybe I should've only done it from 10. Five seconds. And that's it, three, two, one. Okay, that's a difficult one. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Um, just do what's comfortable for you and do as many as you can and work your way up. Good job. The eighth exercise today is top taps. Uh, great little exercise, get your calves going, um, get your coordination on the ball as well. So let's get stuck into that one too. So it's basically what it is. You're topping the tap top of the ball, like so. If that's a bit tough for you, and you want to just still get the control of the ball, you can just work on stepping onto the ball like that. It's great use. You can still, as the ball's coming to you, it's a way of control. It's a way I teach my son to control the ball at the moment, which is the good way of him learning. And then this is good for your agility. Really get the feel for the ball, working on your control. And it's good cardio too. You see, you can do this as long as you can if you're comfortable. Doing the top taps, like so. You can slowly go as fast as you want and really work the minute if you're comfortable because it can become a real calf burn. And even so, really comfortable with that. You can slowly move the ball side to side, which is great for your control. Moving the ball away from opponents. Three, two, one, and you're done. As you can see, it's a real good cardio one as well. Great job. Okay, the ninth and final exercise is step overs. Um, something great to have in your locker, always to have a little skill to beat your opponent. So we'll, we'll get stuck into those and work on that. Okay guys, great job so far. Our last one now, so hang in there. Um, we're gonna do the step over, okay? So it's not too much harder work, it's more working on your technique, okay? So if you've got your ball, you're gonna drop it down, leave your cones set up where they are, probably more go to one side and you're working on the step over. So you're taking touches with the ball with the outside of your foot, stepping over the ball and taking it away, okay? So it's a great little skill to have in your locker that you should, that you, should, you can keep, even though I'm you know, more a defensive player, you never know. And I've worked on a simple step over for such a long time now, okay? Just to have something in your locker, it's a simple little skill that does take practice. So as you're dribbling, you're stepping over and taking it away from the opponent. You can work on it with both feet, stepping over and taking it away. And as you get better and better, you get quicker and quicker and take it away like so. Working on both feet. And then if you're comfortable with that, you've been doing step overs your whole life, uh, you can work in two step overs or as many as you want really. But whatever you can do to move the opponent and you can take the ball away from him, okay? So get them done for one minute. It's a great job and you're done. Okay guys, awesome stuff. Um, that's you finished the Rebel Rookies Backyard Edition. I hope you loved it and um, look forward to seeing you on another installment. Make sure you subscribe to the Rebel channel. Um, you can check out some more great content from myself and some other great Aussie athletes. It's a great way to keep you uh, fit, healthy and active. So we'll see you then.